Hi learners, welcome back to my channel Maths Made Easy with AB. Uh, today we will look into some more examples of wavy curve. If you have not seen the previous video, you do check that one because that will be needing uh, to form a foundation base to uh, carry on with this lecture. So getting back to this problem of wavy curve, what I told in the previous class, so say you, you can see a very complex problem over here. It looks very complex, but the solution is very simple. Uh, so I'll teach you how. So first, uh, what we did was we have to find the critical point. So in this case, what will be the critical point? So for the critical point, you have to equate this to zero. You have to equate this to zero, this to zero, this to zero. Yeah. So let me tell you the critical points are x is equal to minus one from this x is equal to three x is equal to minus four and x is equal to six. So the critical points are minus one, three, minus four and six. These forms the critical points for this inequality. Yeah. So you have to find the value of x. Now I told you this was the numerator part. Numerator part is there by denominator part. And then some inequality sign greater than, less than, whatever will be there. I already told you that this denominator part can never be equal to zero. You have to keep this in mind that this denominator part can never be equal to zero. Going by this logic, this denominator can never be equal to zero. So this part can never be equal to zero. So x minus six can never be equal to zero. So x can never be equal to six. Although six is a critical point. That is a critical point because the graph will change its sign. Already told you in the previous lecture, x will uh, the graph will change the sign over there. But x can never take the value six. Do keep this in mind. So I'm just erasing this part over here. Hope you all have noted this. But also I'll keep this in mind. I'll write the critical points over here. I'll not write x is equal to this, else you will be confused. I'll write cp critical point. And I'll also write that x is not equal to six over here. Let us now plot this inequality or I'll call it as the equation on uh, x axis uh, on the number line. So I will draw the number line over here. I mark the point. So you have what you have minus four. So minus four will come over here. You have minus one, you have three and you have six. This becomes the number line now. Yeah, I already taught you in the previous class. You have to always start from here for so this. You start. This is the positive part. This is the negative part. Now what you have to do, you will have to see from where the 6 comes. 6 comes from here. And what is the sign of the power that is order even? That is even. So for even, you remain on the same side. See how difficult, how complicated this number is. So the logic only depends on whether it is odd or even. And hence, don't get worried if you get this number as very big, 5 digit number. Somebody gives you 199666. Something like this, whatever be the number, the logic, the problem, the solution will be very simple. Yeah. So let's get uh, into the problem now. So at six, you got the power as even. So you remain on the same side. You are on the same side. Go to three now. Three is coming from where? Three is coming from here. What is the part 2023, the year that is going on right now? Uh, uh, generally, paper setter give these kind of years where the question is set. So 2023, that's why I've taken just an example. 2023, what the power is? Odd. So for odd, you have to change the side. You are on the positive side. You will have to come on the negative side. So you come here. This is the next part. Now from where you are getting minus one. So minus one is coming from here. Part is even. You remain on the same side. Four. Where is it coming from? Four is coming from here. Four is odd. So you change your side. This becomes the graph. Just name it. This is plus. This is minus, And this is already marked as minus. Very clear over here. So let us see uh, what will happen. So just extending this line over here. Yeah. So now the question is, uh, the, see the sign over here. The sign is less than equal to. For less than equal to, what you have to do? You have to take the minus part. So x belongs to, for this question I am mentioning, x belongs to what? Minus 4. Will it be included? Will it be included? Yes, this will be included because the sign has a equal to. Less than is there and equal to is there. So minus 4 will be included, comma, minus 1. Minus 1, will it be included? Yes, it will be included. Union minus 1 till how much? 3. So minus 1 is included. 3, will it be included? Yes, 3, it will be included. So this becomes the answer of this. See, minus 1, since it is included, you need not write this union over here. You can also write it as minus 4 till 3, all included. So from minus 4 till minus 3, since it is equal to and minus 1 is also included, you can write this one as this also. 
it is implied from this. If anybody has any doubt, you can comment and ask it. I'll clarify that point in the comment section. So this is the answer for this uh, less than equal to sign. Now, uh, let me tell you, uh, let me take other examples as I have done previously also. Uh, say for example, uh, if this happens to the symbol, if it is less than equal to zero, what would have been the change in the answer? If it would have been less than zero, x belongs to, if that, to it would have been less than equal to, x belongs to what? x belongs to minus four till minus one union minus one till three. Understand this part. This is not included because equal to sign is not here. And you cannot write this. You cannot write this as this. Why? Because if you're writing this, this means minus one is included, but minus one is not included over here. So you cannot write it in this way and you have to compulsorily write it in this format. I think this is very clear to you all. Let me take the other examples over here. So uh, let me move to greater than. Say for example, it would have been greater than equal to, uh, sorry, greater than zero, for example, the first part. So here it would have been x belongs to, for greater than zero, x belongs to what? You have to take the positive part. So minus infinity till minus four, minus infinity till minus four, minus four will not be included, only equal, a uh, greater than sign is there. Union three, till 6, union 6 till infinity, 3 till 6, 6 till infinity, this becomes 4 greater than, if it would have been greater than equal to 0, then what would have been the answer, x belongs to minus infinity till minus 4, minus 4 would have been included, because equal to sign comes in, union, what, uh, union would have been 3 till 6, 3 would have been included, yes, 3 would have been included, 6, would have been included, it would have been included. But what I have mentioned over here, x is not equal to six because x was in the denominator part. So six not included, union six will again be not be included till infinity. This would have been the answer for greater than equal to zero. So guys, I think uh, this was all about wavy curve solving, comp any, any question that comes about wavy curve or any inequality, uh, find the value of x union or whatever uh, intersection so you i made very clear by the two videos that i have made on it if you have not watched the previous video do watch the video and then come to this i hope you like the video uh, if you liked it do if you have any doubts do comment and subscribe to our channel we'll get back with other video in the next part thank you so much for watching